Hi guys, it's Ryan Gill. Uh, yesterday we went out and did a little bit of fishing in the Gulf and caught some sail cats and uh, some stingray. And uh, I'm going to cook them over some coals today for you and just kind of show you how you can do stuff, you know, some abo cooking. Of course, I'm going to make the fire my way. Uh, nice friction fire. Hand drilling. Uh, this is a, a dog fennel spindle. And this is a hearth I made from a good dry piece of Loblolly Bay. The stuff grows everywhere down here. Anywhere that there's a swamp in Florida, there's Loblolly Bay. And anywhere there's a little bit of a sand hill, there's, uh, there's dog fennel. So this is a good combo to use. Alright, we got our fish uh, laid out on the coals. Uh, there's no more fire, but the coals are obviously still really hot. We got the two uh, salt cats. They're both butterflied out. You can do them whole if they're not too big. Those would have been fine to do whole, but we're kind of in a rush because we got a big storm cloud heading this way. And we got a big old hunk of stingray on there too. Um, it would probably be a little better if the skin was taken off of the stingray. Um, I know it being related to the sharks, it may have the same problem as the sharks have with leaving the skin on, but we're going to try it anyway because trying to get the skin off that stuff with abo tools is kind of hard when you're in a rushed scenario. So we're going to go ahead and let them cook there a minute and then we're just going to flip them on over and let them cook on the other side and then we're ready to eat. There's nothing to it really. You're just chunking them on the coals and letting them cook. Alright, everything's cooking up pretty good. These cats are uh, really close to being done. We're just going to flip them over real quick just to sear the rest of the pink out. The meat's good and white for the most part. The bottom of the ray, I believe, is pretty well done. The top is still pretty pink, so we're going to flip it over and let it cook a while longer. Alright guys, we got our fish all cooked up. I uh, tried to sting ray, right? was not overly impressed with it. Uh, very stringy, very gummy. Um, tasted pretty okay, it was very bland. Uh, not one of my favorites, but it could have been the size of the fish that made a difference. You know, some of the big big fish uh, you know aren't as good as uh, young ones about like anything else I guess um, <clears throat> maybe it was because the skin was on to be honest I don't have a whole lot of experience with the whole stingray thing but it's certainly edible uh, you can eat it especially if you need to uh, primitive man would not have turned his nose up at it that's for sure um, but the fish basket uh, with the sail cats those are extremely good there's nothing at all wrong with eating these. These are definitely worth eating. And cooking them over a fire I think is just the best way to do it. It's a lot better than frying them. Alright, well, thanks for watching and good luck fishing and good luck uh, cooking your food on an open fire. <laughs>